Hello. We're going to the final fight for the first tier of the Omega Raid series. So for the first tier, it's um, they're all just called Delta Escape. So we're going to the fourth one. Escape V4. Fighting this dude. The stage is a circle. There is a fence. Fences on the side for now, so it's fine. You can run around. Um, behind the boss is like this huge void. Yeah, she'll be given to it. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Okay. Maintain is gonna turn the boss around per usual. This first cast, Doom, we've seen this before. Uh, once this is cast, there will be two people with this Doom debuff. When the count goes off, I don't know, know exactly how long it is. I think it's like 10 seconds, five seconds. You have, you have a bit of time, but once the countdown goes off, if the healer or somebody doesn't use Asuna on it, then that person will die. And so you need... it has a white bar above it, so you can use Asuna. So healers will need to keep an eye on that and make sure they Asuna that off for people. Okay. I I tried running this unsynced as like Machine or some Warrior and like straight up I just died because I couldn't Asuna it. So then I actually did run it as healer to just be able to get through that part, but it is that like that's one of the very first things. So if you're trying to run this unsync, it might be very difficult because you can't really avoid this doom thing. Um, I think bards have a version of Asuna, but anyway, moving on. I mean, most people I think here are probably going to be just running things through Duty Finder, so you should be fine. Okay, this next one, Blizzard three. We've got AOE's underneath people. So, you want to just dodge out of those. Thunder 3. This targets one person and gives them this lightning resistance down. And so they're more res uh, vulnerable to lightning. Okay. Fire 3 is going to target a few people with this fire marker thing and you want to spread those out because they'll explode. Okay, so that's kind of simple enough. Most of these are telegraphed. Um, oh yeah, it looked like it was all the DPS that had that. Where it gets complicating is we have fire 3 here, right? And you would think that it's like, oh, we got the little fire markers again. No, it's not. Um, the difference is because this, my magic is deep in the greatest of powers, the power of the void. Okay, so when the boss's arm is up and you see all this like void, like darkness, that will change what this move does. So you'll see. Okay, you can see, so this void thing in the back, you have to keep an eye on that to see if the boss is taking power from the void. When um, he does, then it changes fire 3 to this other thing. We, we get all this fire all over the place and we get this pyretic. Okay. And so when you have pyretic, if you move or do any like stuff while you have that, then you take some damage. Mm, let's see. 
let's, let's uh, we'll play through this one up until that point. Okay, so the Doom, where two people get the thing, so healers need to use a Suna on that. Blizzard 3, dodge these AoEs. Thunder 3, the, it's the one where you get the lightning resistance down. Okay. Fire 3, got these markers or spread them out. And then now we're gonna make sure to look up to see if the boss is taking power from the void. Okay, so it's taking power from the void, we got fire 3. And so, here we go. Everybody's got pyretic. And see, whenever I like started doing stuff, I took a bit more damage. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of different variations to those elemental things, depending on whether he's taking power from the void. So here he's taking power from the void again, and doing Thunder 3. And so th this is the one where he would have given somebody the lightning resistance down. But because he's got power from the void, it's an even bigger attack. And so it's a like huge circle AoE, and so you want to run away from the boss. This is not telegraphed. It happens pretty fast. Okay, so this is one of those things you kind of need to just know or react quickly to if you see other people running away. It's a pretty wide AoE. You get a bone stack and paralyzed, and you take some damage from this. Blizzard 3, if you um, are not moving when this happens, you turn into a block of ice, so you get this deep freeze, and you get a Vaughn stack. So see, I wasn't moving there, some of these other people weren't moving, and so we are blocks of ice, and then we can't do anything for a few seconds. So... How do you want to handle that? Let's see this one. Okay, so the thunder one is the one where you run away. See how big that AoE is? So if you're like a ranged person, it's a little bit easier to like keep your camera panned out and so you can see the void thing. But if you're a melee, you gotta make sure you can see like over his cape and things like that. This is a blizzard 3. See, I'm like constantly running around so that I don't get frozen. There we go. Uh, let's see, what's KM running around? <laughs> They ran over here, but then they stopped. So yeah, I was constantly running though. So, so that's how you handle that one. I remember the, that was with the void thing, okay? And so he's gonna do variations. Okay, so here's Thunder Three with the void thingy. And so this is the one where we run away because it's gonna be a big circle AOE. And you get the paralyzed in both sides. Okay, this is regular Blizzard Three with the. the the circle he was in here, so we, this is easy enough to dodge, like you, because you can see it. A decisive battle, this void decisive battle thingy. Okay, so it'll disappear, and there'll be this proximity marker, right? So you want to run off to the side so you take less damage, and then the whole stage changes. And then there's this like super big face, this grumpy. And if you see that face looking at you, you need to run off to the side real quick because it's gonna do this big move. See, this super huge cone. Uh, when that happens, you'll get zombified. Okay, so here, let's see it over here. So fire three with the void. That's the pyretic thing. So if you move or do attacks, then you take extra damage. Regular Blizzard 3, so the AoEs you want to just move out of the way for. Okay, this is battle, so this is going to be the phase change. Move off to the side. This, the Gunbreaker used their Super Bowl Light, their um, invulnerability thing, and they're just being silly and they're standing there. However, because they did that, I noticed that when they got hit, they got a bleed. 
So if you happen to stand there, you get a bleed. I'm not sure how much damage it actually does because, you know, they were invulnerable. But I, I did see the little icon of their bleed there. Okay, and so anybody facing the face is going to get hit with the zombie attack. Let's see, here we go. So, so they got zombie fight. Okay. Um, when you're a zombie, you can't control yourself, and you just run up to people and start attacking them for a while. Like it, everyone's a bunch of right here, but that, that's what the zombification thingy does. You just start attacking other people instead of what you want to do. Okay. So, back over here. So we're all running away from the front of the face. And then the main boss comes back. Okay, so we have a stack marker. So we all want to stack up for this. And then immediately after we have a flare marker. So yeah, the people who have that want to spread away. And then everybody else is, yeah, want, wants to stay away from them. It's a little you know, tricky if you're going to stand close to the edge though, because at this point there is no fence, so you can fall off. Okay. Alright, next up we have Meteor. There's going to be a big Meteor, so it's a raid wide, so you want to heal through that. black hole. Okay, so we've got some void situations happening over here. Uh, the boss will, you know, do this kind of raid wide and then we'll have these orbs, these black holes all over the stage. You want to just dodge these because they end up doing a lot of damage. Fire 3 with the AoE thingy. So this is the one where we'll get hit with the, the fire uh, pyretic thing. Okay, so these black holes, they're they're all over the stage. The best you can do is just ignore them or try to like avoid them. But because we had okay, so we had the pyretic thing that simply you don't move for that. Okay, that's fine. So you don't take extra damage. But then right after we have this regular fire three. See there's no void thing. His, his hand's not up. Well his hand's technically up, but there's no void coming into his hand. And so, this is the regular fire 3, and so people have the little markers. And so they want to spread out, but, well, it's spicy dangerous. Okay, so when you're spreading out, don't, like, try to avoid the, the black, uh, black holes. Okay, so this person ended up... See, they already have low health. Or did they get hit with two? I'm not sure. What's going on over there? Okay. Their health is like similar to other people's. Oh, oh, they're kind of like. I think it was because there was probably. Um, there's another tick to pyretic. Okay, so you have three ticks of pyretic. And then you get this marker, and usually when. Usually. When people see this marker, reflexively, people will start moving out of the way right away. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but if you're moving out of the way right away when you still have the pyretic, then you're going to take a few ticks of damage. See, every time I did something, I took like 1500. And so on their health bar, So they're like, this one's at like 10,000, 15 years. So it goes down a bit, okay? So <clears throat> you gotta be careful with that. You can wait like a moment so that the pyretic thing goes away, okay? And then safely move out of the way. But anyway, I mean, we survived this, it's fine. The healers were really on top of things. Um, but yeah, I don't think they walked into a black hole or anything. So, so that's that situation. Okay, let's watch it over here. Okay, 
Okay, so there's a flare marker that was spread out for this. <laughs> Careful when you're spreading out so you don't fall off the stage. Meteor. It's gonna be the raid white. Okay, and then we get the black hole situation. Avoid the value. So we all take a hit of the raid wide, and then we have these black holes everywhere, okay? So dodge the black hole as you're dodging other things. Okay, in this variation we get the blizzard one. So with the void, you know, I'm always kind of trying to move my camera so I can see if the void thing's getting pulled out, and it is. And so this is the one where I need to be constantly moving around or else I get frozen in place. And then Blizzard 3, the regular one, the regular one, okay, is the AoE one that you want to run out of. I walked into a void because I kind of wanted to see how much damage I take. <laughs> Thanks, healers. Um, so you take a significant amount of damage. 13,000, okay, and so it took a big chunk of my health and it gave me a vulnerability up. And so if I wasn't topped off in health beforehand, you know, if, if I had taken some damage before and if I didn't have a shield, that could possibly kill me. Okay, like if I accidentally got hit with with this blizzard thingy or, or this blizzard thing and then I ran into this or I ran into another one, I probably would have died. But, um, you see, um, I get healed up pretty fast, the healers notice. So, so that's why you don't want to step into the the... The black holes, okay, because it does a lot, a lot of damage. So they have 13, like, it can almost kill a healer, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, okay, moving on. Meteor, we got another raid ride. Thunder 3, okay, there's no void thing here, and so this is the one where it's just gonna give somebody this lightning resistance down thing. And it looks like it's a circle situation, okay, so don't, don't stand up there. Okay, black hole. So we get the void thingy, so we're gonna take the raid wide, and then there's gonna be black holes all over the stage. Blizzard 3, we just saw this in the other video, so, so yeah, well, we have different variations of this, right? So you'll get the fire one or the blizzard one, depending on what you do. Vacuum wave, this is gonna do a knockback, and so you make sure wherever you're standing, you don't get knocked back into a hole, a black hole, or you don't get knocked back into um, off the stage, so you don't don't get knocked off your stage. So there we go. So we had a decent amount of people fall off the stage, and then a decent amount of people actually they got hit into the black holes. Okay, so you gotta be careful with that. Meteor is going to be the raid wide. Thunder 3 is the regular one. So they, they take the hit and they get another stack of the lightning resistance down. Decisive battle. We're, we're very close to this, so normally people will like skip this phase. Um, I think we, we ended up seeing it because so many people died earlier, so we didn't have enough damage and stuff. But this vine situation uh, will do AoEs all over the place, and so you need to find the safe spot. There will be one spot that has the safe spot that because there's going to be like this proximity marker so you want to go find the one corner that has a safe spot and go stand there so you see how every little vine thing has a thingy 
so send in the back here for that. And then immediately after, this face is in, you know, it's gonna do this thing, so you gotta run out of the way. Okay, so this person got zombification. See how they're like running towards me and they're like attacking? Oh. Yeah, so, so they're just chasing me. This person is chasing me and attacking me because they're zombified. So, so that's what happens when you get that, okay? Um, and then, and then after the, okay, so we have a vacuum wave. So this is the one that you get knocked back. So position yourself so you don't get knocked back. And then after that, basically everything else will repeat. Um, but like I said, like, I've run this and usually there's a lot of, like, I don't really see the vine mechanic because most people skip that. But here, uh, Meteor, we have the Raid Live. Thunder 3, it's gonna be the vulnerability thing, stay away from the main tank. Black Hole. Really, the trickiest thing about this fight is just knowing if it's gonna be the con the the move that has the void thingy on it or not. And you, so that is really just, you have to look at it. So fire three with the void is the pyretic thing. And so you don't wanna be moving or doing too many attacks so you don't take more damage. It doesn't do that much at this point because a lot of people have big gear, but just know that you can take your damage down. Uh, okay, so the flare marker, you can move out of the way for the Stay away from people. Try not to fall off the stage when you're running away. Meteor again, we got the raid wide. Okay. And around here is, yeah, like usually what I've seen in Duty Finder. Um, so we, we didn't even see the little. Um, what are they called? Waves? Tentacles? These things? Vines? Okay, so usually um, people will skip that at this point. So, yeah. Okay. You make sure you um, can see that void thingy so that you can figure out which um, mechanic he's actually doing. And there we go. We finish Delta Escape. Delta Escape complete. Um, th that's it for the first tier of the Omega Raid series. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, goodbye.